Hi, this is Michael from Nonstop Coding, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Japanese lesson news videos that you can get from Play Store. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on my latest videos. So here, search in Learn Japanese Lesson News. So here it is. Learn Japanese Lessons News Videos. Before we install this app, let's uh, take a look at the pictures in here. 48 lessons with animation, as you can see. Supporting 17 languages. Braces and grammar points of the lessons. Hiragana and katakana. Teach us, teacher, and so on. Alright, let's go ahead and install it. And while waiting for it to complete, I just want to share this with you, the benefits of having this app installed. Easy Japanese is a program of Japanese, Japanese language lessons produced by, produced by Japan's public broadcaster NHK World Radio Japan. Learning Japanese easily through audio lessons, this feature needs the internet connection, but it can also but it can help you learn Japanese communication easily. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and install and open it. So, as you can see, this is the Easy Japanese and let's start from lesson 1. So, you will be able to hear a conversation by tapping this one here, the play button. So, Anna is an international student from Thailand. Today, she meets her tutor, Sakura, at the university for the first time. So you will be able to hear or listen to a conversation between the, between the Japanese people. So here, as you can see, it's an introductory. How do you do? I'm Anna. Hajime mashite, watashi wa Anna desu. How do you do? I'm Sakura. Hajime mashite, Sakura desu. Just tap this one here if you want to listen to just tap this one here if you want to listen to the conversation or the this or how you pronounce this um, phrase or the sentences Yoroshiko nigaishimasu Nice to meet you Nice to meet you too Kuchira Kozo So that's how you use it It's really really easy Then you can proceed to the next animation if you want to So there is a lot of lessons to learn Lesson 2 will be about what's this so as you can see key phrase is Koriwa Nandeska. If you wanna tap this so tap this to listen to all of the scripts. So Sakura this is for you. Sakura san hai dozo. Koriwa nandeska. It's a souvenir from Thailand, so we wa Thai no miyagi des Arigatosaimasa do it So it's really simple and easy to use. Then lesson three, where is this? Where is a restroom? Then four, I'm home. Five, they they are my treasures, and so on. You can actually jump to any topic in here that you are interested. Like for example, you want to ride. Let's say you wanna eat a food in a restaurant. So just tap this one here, lesson thirty-four. So the key phrase is yawarana. Yawara, yawara kakute oishi desu. So, oh, here comes Toru. Ah, Tora gakita. What is Toru? Toru te nan desu ka? It's the belly part of a tuna. Here we go. Maguru no unaka no bubon desu, doto. Thank you for the food. It's tender and delicious. Itadakimasu, yawara, yawara kakute oishi desu. So there for lesson 34 and then here do you see this drawer this is the materials so easy Japanese easy travel Japanese syllables teach us teacher sound words vocabulary and learning tools and so on so you can try to open this easy Japanese and we'll have this information there when I graduate I want to work in Japan to explain your plan say a verb in the tough form followed by the ra indicated the circumstances and then whatever your plan is just tap it and then you will um, have more the details you can even watch it watch the video by tapping this so you will be able to hear a conversation between Japanese and how they pronounce it and how the how they use the words properly so I'm going to back and just 
uh, tap any tap any conversation that you want to hear or want to listen there and you'll be able to hear it so this one here easy travel is going to be there there's an actual people actually asking so this one here let's try this so daijoubu this guy is it okay do you know how to ask if something is okay in japan so credit card daijoubu this guy when you want to ask if something is okay daijoubu this guy there so you will be guided on how to use it properly so next is the syllabaries so this is the hiragana then tap this one to show see the katakana so Japanese writing system and then teach us teacher demonstrative so just pick a topic like this one here imas and arimas lesson 10 and you will have all the information about it there so the difference between imasen and arimasen so you will be guided by this um, information the te form and the mo ideska lesson 14 please. next is the sound words is where you can listen so this one just tap this to listen there and how to use it so wind just tap and you will you will be able to hear it or listen it then next is vocabulary is where you can practice your vocabulary so there these are the things that you have to memorize how to get the assignments just tap a word and then you will have this information so scroll down look for a particular topic and then read the information learning tools let's try that so these are the learning tools and so there words to indicate time points kino yesterday today tomorrow last week right shoes in getsu kongetsu okay and today's japanese so there atarashi so this is this is actually kanji today's kanji sora and so on so if you're a beginner level then go back to hiragana and katakana first once you're once you are able to to memorize it then you can continue with kanji kanji is the difficult one there sakutsuku then today's praise which is your recommendation there you will be able to watch them so there conversation between japanese so so usume wa dore desu ka this is your recommendation so just pick a particular topic and then listen watch and listen how they pronounce it properly next this one is is about japanese actually this is a more like um, a news just tap tap any topic and then you will have this information so news and then the settings so you can in settings you can select language you can rate the app you can also download more apps privacy policy and so on so I highly recommend this to anyone who wants to study in Japan or wanna go wanna work in Japan or visit a relative. It's really handy if you have something like this with you because uh, it will uh, it will make your life easier and also to avoid embarrassment situations while you're traveling in Japan. So have a nice trip and thanks so much for joining me and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.